Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Uh, today's is very deep. Today's, I mean, every day's is deep, but today's is extra deep. Uh, it was sent out on June 15th, and I quote, Indeed, the starting point for self-help efforts is to have a sense of responsibility. It is a willingness to take responsibility for your life. Those who cannot do this tend to try to protect themselves. This is called pride. But this thick barrier of pride blocks the light of God or Buddha and prevents people from practicing self-reflection. From the True Eightfold Path by Master Rihokawa. Thank you, Lord God. All right. Indeed, the starting point of self-help is a sense of responsibility. Now, um, if you can, I believe from my experience, uh, and from my, my own experience and from the experience of watching other people's lives as a minister, um, the moment you really resolve in your hearts, in your minds, deep down in your minds, to take responsibility for your life, things will start to change. And what does it even mean to take responsibility for your own life? It means like, in my words, it means being able to see through the laws of cause and effect of your life. And being able to see that the reason why you're put in that situation right now in your life is due to your own decisions and your own way of thinking in the past. A lot of the times people will reject this because it's hard. It's hard to see through the laws of cause and effect. You really have to master yourself um, you have to master yourself. You have to know yourself. And knowing yourself in and of itself is already enlightenment. That's what Master has taught us. So that's why it's hard. And a lot of the times we don't even know what we're thinking and we don't know our own soul's tendency. It's because it's really hard to see ourselves objectively. It's always a subjective view. Our eyes are on ourselves, so we can't see ourselves without a mirror. And in order to see ourselves, to gain that mirror, what does this mirror mean? This mirror is actually Buddha's truth, Alcantara's teachings. And you have to refine that mirror, you have to gain that knowledge, you have to refine it deeply, you have to contemplate on it deeply, and then start seeing yourself subjectively using the truth. And then you start seeing that um, what we're saying here in Happy Science, what Master Kawa is teaching us, that the results of our life now is all because of our own decisions we made in the past. And once you can grasp this truth by putting away your pride, then you can start taking control of your life. And as a method of doing this here at Happy Science, we do something called a lifetime self-reflection. We also have a koan contemplation seminar that is called um, Deep Into Your Mind Koan Seminar. Or Looking Deep Into Your Mind or Gazing Deep Into Your Mind Koan Seminar. It is a contemplation seminar consisted of 10 contemplation points. And it allows us to really deeply look into the courses of our lives from an objective view. And then, when you do that in a spiritual, refined atmosphere uh, at our Happy Science temples, in our prayer halls, you gain a new insight. That's actually a new perspective uh, that your guardian spirit will give to you through inspirations. And then, you start, take, you start getting a new outlook on your own life. You start seeing different. You start seeing yourself differently. You start feeling like a different person. Your past looks differently. And that's enlightenment. And that's self-reflection. By doing so, our lives will start to truly change. Because we will become convinced that what we think will change our future. What we decide on will change our future. That conviction is important. 
What I mean by conviction is you grasp that truth. You don't just know the truth. You grasp it deeply in your hearts and it's sunk even deeper to your lower abdomen. From the bottom of your stomach, you know that it's the truth. Uh, so this um, koan seminar that I'm talking about, looking deep into your mind, gazing deep into your mind, deep into your mind, this koan seminar, uh, I really recommend it. Um, the the international headquarters has released it in English recently, so um, you can take it at your local temples. So please ask your local ministers if you would like to take this um, seminar. It's so good. You will get a new insight of yourself, which in itself is the power to change your environment from today on. Uh, that will be in for today. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you can take this seminar one day. Thank you very much, and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.